How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? Some people hate this radio, and some people hate this radio. And the reason they hate one radio or the other, one brand or the other, is not based on the content of the character of the radio or what the radio can and can't do. They hate the radio simply because of the name of the radio or who owns the company. There's a word for people like that. Now, if you already hate one of these radios, then you are probably one of those people and you have no reason to watch this video. Therefore, you are dismissed. But if you do not already have an opinion of one of these brands and need help deciding which one of the two you should hate, then stick around for just another couple of minutes while I go over some of the differences between this company and this company so that you may be woke. Midland is based in the United States. Wuxin Ocean is based in China. But even though Midland is based in the United States, some of their radios, such as this MXT 500, are manufactured in China. And even though Wuxin Ocean is based in China, all of its GMRS radios are specced by, designed by, and sold exclusively by only two small businesses in the United States. One of them is in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and the other in Long Beach, California. Midland is known for its great customer support based right here in America. If you buy a Wuxin GMRS radio through one of those two US-based small businesses, the only two in the United States that are authorized to sell the Wuxin GMRS radios, they both also have excellent customer support, also based right here in the America. Neither has perfect customer support and neither has made 100% of their customers 100% satisfied 100% of the time because some customers are just idiots. Both companies make GMRS radios that can transmit up to 50 watts and they both make GMRS radios that are repeater capable, split tone capable, and wideband. Enabled. This Midland radio, like most Midland radios, is very simple to use. It has all of the basic functionality and operations of any GMRS radio, but like many, if not most Midland radios, it is marketed towards somebody that just wants a radio in their vehicle or to carry around as a handheld just to talk to someone else in their group or for communications in their vehicle, vehicle to vehicle, and doesn't necessarily want or need all of the fancy, complicated bells and whistles. Many of the Midland mobile radios can be programmed to talk to a few repeaters, but on many radios by default, that option isn't even enabled. This makes for a very simple solution for someone that just wants a radio in their vehicle to talk to other radios, or maybe occasionally use a repeater while they're on the road. This Wuxin radio, like most Wuxin Ocean radios, while not the most complicated radio in the world, it is not a simple radio. The Wuxin is marketed toward a more advanced GMRS user that craves more bells and whistles or who wants to be able to talk on dozens of repeaters or use other features like using the radio as a scanner for non-GMRS frequencies and to do other more advanced GMRS-y things. Neither this company nor this company make the most advanced, highest edge cutting technology edge radios. However, they do both make very good radios and they all do their jobs as intended very well, which is why it's very important when you are shopping for a GMRS radio that you know what you want to use the radio for, how you're going to use it, and your own particular wants and needs so that you don't buy the wrong GMRS radio and then end up hating it. So which company do you hate? Leave a comment below and explain yourself.